Hi guys, Top Pops here, and in today's video, we have a brand new Reddit recap, so let's get started. Actually, guys, before we get into the Reddit stuff, I want to show you this, and I don't know why, but it's something that I found in my local Dollarama, and these right here are some brand new Hot Wheels cars that I really did enjoy, and I'd never seen these ones before, and I know that some of you guys that collect Funko Pops also collect Hot Wheels cars, so I thought it'd be fun to show you guys these today. So I grabbed these ones. I got this one here. This is from the Mattel Games line, and this is Dose, which I thought was really cool. So they're doing this one where they're kind of collaborating with other Mattel things and putting them onto the cars, and I thought that was really neat. This one here is a 32 Ford, and then I also got this one today for the 10th anniversary of Minecraft, and it is a 10th anniversary minecart. Pretty cool. All right, everyone, so here is the first post and the most upvoted post from this week, and it says, anyone else get this ad all the time on Top Hops' videos? Everywhere I go, I see his face. Paul Scardino, you're still out there. And I don't know why, but I find this so funny that he does pop up everywhere. And it seems like it's kind of become a little bit of a meme on the channel. And I don't want to make fun of Paul here, but it is kind of funny how often his ads pop up. And he must have done targeted ads where they're only on Funko videos. So that way the people that actually want to see the video actually see it. And now I think the problem is that everybody's seen it too much and now nobody wants to see it. And I know Paul has a very impressive collection, way bigger than mine will probably ever be. And if you guys haven't checked out his stuff, I definitely recommend it. And just reading through the comments here, apparently it's every single video. So Paul, I mean, make a new ad, do something cool. Also, I gotta know, how long did you pay for this one? Was it two years, three? It could be a while. He found the hyper-realistic chase and it's an actual rat inside of Remy's box. Now I've actually seen this photo before and it's always funny whenever you look at it. <laughs> and apparently one thing was flagged for animal cruelty. Oh, just whatever you do, don't try to see if it has a brain. Yeah, please don't. I think I got the chase. Well, would you look at that? I mean, Pop Draw YT, you are the one that created the figures. So if you're watching, is this close enough to be the chase? Because to me, I think it is. Oh, also something kind of funny for you guys. I was looking for SpongeBob popsicles here in Canada and I finally found them at a convenience store. When I got them, they didn't have the eyes and I'm not sure what they are, whether they're gumballs or just like candy circles. I don't know because I can't try them because apparently the SpongeBob popsicles here in Canada just don't have them. So guys, I guess for now, I'm never gonna be able to see what SpongeBob's eyes taste like. So for now, we just get to stare at them. When Target lets you take the Mando display home, this is the way, this is definitely the way, and this is a crazy display. I remember seeing this, I believe it was May the 4th, maybe back in like 2019 when the show first released. But yeah, this is nuts, holy crap. And of course you're gonna put the Mandalorian ones on here and they really do look perfect on this shelf. And I actually have one similar to this. It's not the Mandalorian one, but it's actually actually kind of like a generic one with a bunch of different stuff on the side. Mine actually has like some of the really old mystery minis as well as some of the Game of Thrones figures. I got it I think maybe like two years ago now or maybe a year ago over at Plan Collect when they were doing a giant warehouse sale and it was super cool that I could get it for like I think 30 bucks, something cheap like that. But from the way it seems here, it sounds like you got a much better deal than I did because it seems like you got to take this home for free. So Target, if you're watching, I'd love one. YouTube nailed it. Hey guys, Top Lobster. Now apparently this happens a lot with YouTube and I don't know why, but whenever I say Top Pops, it never actually gets it right. Like it gets it right like sometimes, but when they actually do the captions, it's like Yop Pops I've seen before. I've seen Mop Pops, a lot of random stuff, but Top Lobster is definitely the worst one so far. And if you guys have seen something worse than Top Lobster, please let me know in the comments section below or put it over on the reddit because i would love to see what it actually comes up as because it never gets it right regular show high five ghost pop concept with glow chase now this is perfect and i heard something about them doing possibly more regular show figures in the future so if they do funko i would love to have a high five ghost with chase just like this Okay, now before we continue here, I do want to show you guys this one here, and I feel like some of you guys are getting kind of lazy on the subreddit. This one here just says, please make a Funko concept for this. And I was like, nobody's gonna do it. And then I scrolled down a little bit farther. We'll go back up in a second, but hold on, where was it? Here it is. Someone actually made it. And FN Giorgio, I think you did an amazing job with this concept, but I feel like people who actually want to make a concept should try to make concepts. I feel like if you've never made one before, that is the perfect time to start. You find a figure that already has a pop, but you want to make it maybe with a different outfit or something, just like this one, try to make a concept. And I know it's not easy, but it definitely is something fun that you can try and get better at in the future. So you guys, look what it says here. I saw someone asking for someone to make this a concept. That's why I made it, LOL. And even if you aren't good at making them, you should try to make them and see how they turn out. And FN George, or you did an amazing job with this one. Keep them coming. All right, guys, let's get back up there. Where were we? Ah, here we are right here. This pretty much sums up Tristan's life. I am inevitable and I am Iron Man. Yeah, pretty much every day. 
it, it almost feels like every day, guys, I'm getting a new Funko Pop at the house to show off to you guys, which is good for content, but not so good for space. So yeah, I'm definitely running out in here, but I am working on possibly a second room over there that I'm gonna be changing over to another one, very similar to this with shelves, so that way I don't have figures on the floor over there, as well as in piles. It'll look a lot nicer, and I might be able to have a YouTube's room as well, so that way we can have that for the second channel. So if you guys are subscribed over there, get excited, because I'm definitely pumped to make that one in the future. Now here is a cool set of concepts right here, guys. This is a Steven Universe Funko Pop, Pop Concepts Part 1, so I'm guessing there's probably a Part 2 somewhere on the subreddit, or maybe it's coming soon if you guys want to check it out. But yeah, these are some really great concepts right here, and I don't know who they are, but if anybody knows Steven Universe better than I do, please let me know who it is in the comment section below. Both of my Red Hulks I ordered from Hot Topic ended up being Chase variants. Now that is some crazy luck right there. I wish I had this good of luck when I did my Chase Hulk roulette the other day, because I, I mean, they're cool, but I would have loved the Chase. And yeah, I don't know how much these figures are going for, but they are definitely going for a pretty penny, so congratulations to you on getting two chases. What is the difference? I looked at every detail and they are the same. So for this here, hmm. Okay, so I thought about it for a little bit and this is what I came up with. So maybe if somebody has the Batman and the Joker separately out of the box, or maybe they only have one of them out of this two pack, they can add it to their Funko app without having to add both of them at the same time. And maybe there's even a third one that is the Batman and the Joker together and they're just using the same photo because they don't have separate ones for each figure. Maybe that's what it seems like. But if you guys have any other ideas, please let us know. Oh, wow. Wanted to share with you guys something rare that you won't see every day and love to have. This is in my collection. Here's two Freddy Funko posters from back in the Wobbler days. Funko wants you to have fun. The fun starts here. And then it's got the old Funko logo and it says Funko.com. And then the second one here is, whoa. Funko wants you to have fun. Second annual East Coast Fun Days at Wild Bills, October 29th, 2005. Nuts. So if you guys don't know, Funko became a company in 1998. So only seven years later, they were creating this right here. And also, this is over 15 years old. So that really is crazy how nice these still look for being so old. Part of our Funko Soda collection. The rest are displayed elsewhere. We'll post pics of them later. Also, you can check us out on YouTube at Stack and Pops. Now this right here is a crazy collection. And it looks like a lot of the blacklight figures are in the background with a bunch of sodas in the front. And I love the blacklight figures, especially when they're all together like that with the black light shining on them, it really does look crazy. Aha! Uh -huh. If anybody's wondering, here is the part two to the Steven Universe Funko Pop concepts, and it looks like there are some really great ones here. Also, very similar ones that we have already, just in different poses, and I think that this would be great so that way they can actually bring back the older pops that are worth a lot without ruining the value of them. So these ones really are nice. And this one here, I, I, um, um, uh, I, I don't know what to say about this one. And I think we're gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys wanna see more Reddit stuff in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and please let me know in the comment section below, what was your favorite post today? And if you guys have anything that you guys wanna share, I definitely recommend going over to r slash top pops to share whatever you want that's top pops, Funko related, or just memes in general about the channel or Funko, or really whatever you want. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you wanna see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a school. On a four with school. Baby gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. V54 thump. I'm a hump on a bounce. Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Lama lasses.